Welcome back to the Teach Me CQL series. This series is presented by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. It is intended to support healthcare quality leaders, health IT vendors, and measure developers explore the use of clinical quality language, or CQL. Please make sure you bookmark the page on the eCQI Resource Center for future reference. Today's session will review the hospitalization with observation function. This function is currently used in the 12 eligible hospital measures listed here. We're focusing on the most recent release for 2025 reporting. Given the prevalence of this function, we are going to provide a walkthrough to explain the intent and usage. The function hospitalization with observation returns the total date and time interval from start to end of a completed inpatient encounter, including dates and times of observation and emergency department visits that occurred immediately prior to the inpatient encounter. This is an important function in many hospital measures as it allows data from the immediately preceding ER or observation visit to be considered in the calculation of the measure. As most folks know, many hospital inpatient stays start with a visit to the emergency room. Let's take a walkthrough of the function now. As we can see in the first section, the function is looking for any observation encounters that end one hour or less before the start of the inpatient visit, or visit as abbreviated within the alias name here. This logic takes into account those hospital settings where separate encounters are opened and closed for each patient encounter at each level of care. So it would make logical sense that an observation encounter that ended within one hour of the start of an inpatient encounter is likely the observation encounter that led to the admission of that patient. Similarly, the next set of logic does the same in looking for ED encounters that ended within one hour of the start of the inpatient encounter. Now let's take a look at how this function is used in a measure. We will use CMS 71 anticoagulation therapy for atrial fibrillation flutter as an example. As a reminder, this measure is looking for ischemic stroke patients with atrial fibrillation or flutter who are prescribed or continuing to take anticoagulation therapy at hospital discharge. We see this function being used in the encounter with comfort measures during hospitalization for patients with documented atrial fibrillation or flutter definition as a criteria for denominator exclusions. This definition uses the function to determine if comfort measures were active for the patient at any time during the hospitalization, whether it started in the emergency department or observation. If those measures were in place, the patient is excluded from the measure. You are likely asking a few questions at this point. For instance, how does this work if there aren't any ED visits or observation visits prior to the inpatient encounter? In cases like this, the function will simply provide the start and end date of the inpatient encounter. We can look at a few examples of start and end times for encounters to help illustrate this point. For our first example, we have example data from a fictitious patient who was seen in the emergency department on June 11th of this year. As we can see, their ER visit starts at 8 a.m. and ends at 11 a.m. We then see that an observation visit starts at 11.20 a.m. It is likely they needed additional monitoring to determine the severity of what was occurring. That observation stay ends at 2.20 p.m. and an inpatient stay starts at 3 p.m. Because the time differences between the end times and start times are less than one hour, the hospitalization with observation function will pick up all three encounters. Our second example shows a slightly different scenario where our fictitious patient presents to the ER on June 10th at 10 a.m., but is subsequently sent home at 2 p.m. The following day, June 11th, the patient presents again to the ER and is then admitted after an observation stay. The hospitalization with observation function will only pick up the visits that occur on June 11th, as the ER visit on June 10th is well outside of the one hour window. Thanks for joining us on this installment of Teach Me CQL. We hope these sessions are informative. Be sure to check out our other sessions on the eCQI Resource Center CQL education page. Thank you.